Hello everybody! Welcome to my new Legacy Challenge. We're going to try out the joy of life this time. And I'm super, super excited. Uh, this is Gabrielle. This is going to be our starting sim, our first generation. Um, I love her. I wanted someone who looks like they were going to go and venture and start a whole new life, you know? So in my mind, she's kind of inherited this little like plot uh, of land from a grandparent who like left it to her and her will. Maybe her and her parents don't get along the best. She graduated high school. She took the last bit of money she could save from like her, her part-time job and she bought this broken down terrible little like it's not even a mobile home it's like one of those RVs that like attaches to the back of your truck a little slipstream or something uh it's old it's broken down but it's hers and yeah we don't have a lot of money we're gonna be starting this kind of rags to riches style we had a little bit i start i think i think i gave her like a hundred dollars or something hundred simoleons just enough that we can get some food but i want her to kind of work up to everything so uh we gave her the market magnate um so she's going to basically be a sim that wants to start their own business from scratch on their own self-made she doesn't really care about money. She just wants to get by. She wants to be comfortable enough in her little corner of the world. So we uh, have to make her a foodie for this generation. Uh, and then we could pick our own. So I went ahead and got her self-assured. Because I feel like wherever her family's from, I don't think they're from Oasis Springs. To me, she like went out west. She inherited this kind of like little plot of land. So maybe, it's, you know, her family is from like Evergreen Harbor or something. So she's pretty self-assured. She's like, hey, I can do this. I can do anything. I don't need anybody to tell me what to do. Uh, and then I wanted to give her like one, one flaw. So going through them, the only one I kind of felt like would make sense is maybe childish. Like maybe she uh, is a little naive. You know, maybe she still has some growing up to do. Like I said, I think she's still like a very young adult who's still learning about the world. And for this generation, she's got to make some hard choices. Let me see. Let me go ahead and read what it says for this generation, right? Uh, the baking extraordinaire. There's a warmth and coziness in rolling out dough, mixing up frosting and creating masterpieces with a piping bag. Most of your days are spent whipping up new creations in the kitchen, enjoying the smell of a delicious apple pie baking in the oven. You dream of having everyone know your name and saying their cupcakes are the best I've ever had. Uh, in my mind, she got this plot of land and one of the other things she inherited was this little like recipe book. Like she does enjoy uh, cooking or she'll find that she enjoys it, but um, it's kind of like she doesn't have anything else. She doesn't know how she's going to make any money and the book's just there. So it's kind of like the inspiration for her is like, well, you know, maybe there's a reason why I was left this and it's kind of her inspiration. Uh, so we're going to master the baking skill. We're going to sell our baked goods through the, what is it? The Home Chef Hustle kit table. We're going to reach, well, we're not going to, we're not going to have the baker career. I'm trying to decide whether I want to make her the chef, but I think Gen 2 is a chef. So we might have to figure out career wise, or we may not have a career. We may just make it on our own, which is fine for me. I enjoy playing Sims who don't have to have a regular nine to five. So uh, we'll see. Maybe we'll do like freelance stuff when we need to. Um, we're gonna go on some blind dates. I definitely put some sims out there for <laughs> Gabrielle to meet. She must have a child with someone she goes on a blind date with. So I got the RPO mod. It luckily it just updated. So like I'm just now learning about this mod. I've never used it before, but it looks amazing. So we're gonna try it out. And then you can marry a, you can marry said sim if you wish, but it's not required that you get married. And I may not have her get married. I kind of like the idea that she again. She's so, she's like almost overly self-assured that she's like, I don't need anybody. I can do it all by myself. Um, so I kind of like that for her. Bake something holiday themed for each major holiday. And maybe we should go in and make like extra holidays. Because I kind of like going in and setting up different holidays than just like the ones the game has for us. I recommend a Granny's Cookbook, which we did get. So again, that's going to be her inspiration is that she's got this cookbook handed down to her and this plot of land and that's all she has and she's going to make it work. Um, throw parties for your child or children full of yummy cakes and treats. So yeah, we're going to always have like literally every day <laughs> and we're doing a tiny living. So our skills should go up pretty fast. So I'm very excited about that. Um, yeah, so I'll show you a little bit 
of Gabrielle's outfits. This is um, her main everyday. She's got another one that's just a little more relaxed. Oh, my G shades uh, popping on and off there. <laughs> um, and then she's going to have her kind of baking outfit for now. And then I think I have kind of another cool um, warm weather thing. Like I like this like relaxed kind of chill vibe we got going on with her. Formal, it's just a nice wedding dress. If we ever do decide, and I went ahead and gave her kind of this little uh, whisk necklace because I think it suits our generation here. Again, this is her, her same as her daily wear except for we got some sneakers. This is her nighttime wear. She's got a few different um, nightgowns because my sims seem to enjoy just chilling in their sleepwear so we got some of that. Party wear. She's got this cute little dress. Kind of this salmon uh, coral pink is kind of her color. I seem like to be drawn for that for her. She's got a couple, if you see her ankle, she's got a couple little tattoos. She's got another one on the back of her shoulder there. Um, if I put back on her nightgown, you can kind of see she's got a little little bird on a branch out there. So she's got a couple little cute little tattoos. This is her bathing suit. And then her hot weather wear. We just tied our hair up, basically. <laughs> And then cold weather wear. So she does have nice little cold weather. And again, this kind of peachy, corally, salmon-y color is like her, her vibes. I mean, again, I'm not married to it. Just when I was creating her, it was kind of the inspiration for her looks. I tend to do that. Every generation kind of has a unofficial color. It just helps me keep track of who's who, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> especially in long legacies. Um, yeah, so that's her. And as she grows, I'll probably like change her hair and change her makeup and stuff. Right now she's definitely like kind of fresh and clean. She's got a little bit of eyeliner on, a little bit of blush, but she's not a big uh, makeup girly just yet. But you know, as she grows up and as, uh, you know, if we start making money, she might get a little bit more stylish. We'll see. But I wanted her to feel laid back and kind of that person that would enjoy like an Oasis Springs lifestyle. I've gone through Oasis Springs and, and really either updated all the townies or replaced their homes. You know, Johnny Zest lives across the street from us and he's got his nice big uh, double wide over there. We have Miss Lovelace who lives next door to us and she is like, um, you know, she's been there a long time and you can tell because of her very kind of cluttered uh, yard. Oops. Where's ours? There it is. We have this broken down ramshackle um, little little bus that we drove down here, that we hauled down here with our Jeep. Um, and then we have Mr. Collins who lives on this side and his house is a little bit older and more run down. And you know, he's, he's an interesting fellow. <laughs> Um, but, and you'll see the other townies, uh, too, uh, as we go. Oh, also, uh, we have, we have the laundromat, which doubles as like a little cafe with vending machines and stuff, um, over here, because this is basically, um, what did I call it? Bedrock Strait. Yeah. So we're in Bedrock Strait, and this is basically a functioning like mobile home park over here. And then, um. You know, we kind of got like the more modern homes over here. We got the public pool and park that I added. Because I figured like, yes, a, a regular park is nice. But if we're in Oasis Springs, it should be a pool, right? Like it should be about the water and and cooling off in the heat. At least to me. Uh, we got a couple uh, new families. I got the new Reyes family over here who is kind of... Um, an adversary or a foil for the land grabs or maybe more of the land grabs are a foil to uh, the Reyes family but uh, they're an older family they own the um, cocina down here which is a, a restaurant um, we have the Oasis Springs archive which is like the town hall and for any uh, research purposes and studying purposes you might need uh, we have the Mirage Canyon spa and gym 
because I just felt like it just a gym didn't didn't suit this area to me. I really wanted something that felt a little more luxurious, I guess. Like, where are the land grabs going to hang out? You know, where is Nancy Landgrab going to go? And, you know, she needs her Medi Spa. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then we have the Rattlesnake Cantina, which is an updated reno of uh, the Rattlesnake Juice Bar. And uh, when we get to these lots, I'll be happy to show you guys all their creators. Everything is off the gallery. Uh, some of it I did, like, rename. Like, uh, the Mirage Canyon Spawn Gym. But, uh, yeah, we'll go through. Actually, can I just go in here and give a few shout-outs to these creators? Because um, they had some amazing, amazing lots. Even the lots I'm using for me... Let's see. Yeah, the one I'm using is originally by Coco Puffs 4. Um, and I've done a few um, mo obvious modifications. The Mexican restaurant is by Kat Sar, which is wonderful. This is the Cocina, the Reyes Cocina. Uh, the Oasis Spot and Gym by uh, Chrissy YouTube. This is fantastic. Again, I might have changed just like the roof color or something on there. Um, the Land Grab ma Mansion is by Simlessy. It's fantastic. So many good creators. The Laundromat is by Loop Floop. <laughs> loop Loop Loop. <laughs> um, Collins Place is by Sophia Candral. The Bright Trailer Home is by Bequarium. Uh, just so many good things. Uh, the Reyes Family Home is by Joso Pede. Jo Josepede? Jo Josepe ID? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing. Um, so yeah, there's just so many. Oh, and Johnny Zest Home is here by Sarah Amina. Just a lot of great creators. And um, yeah, just to bring this world, just refresh it, you know, freshen it up a little bit. So that's where we are. So I'll go back to Gabrielle's place. And we can start playing. You guys can see. So yeah, we don't have much. We don't have much. We got um, like a little table where we collected all these chairs that don't really um, match. We do have a bicycle to help get around town. And like I said, all this is kind of dusted and dirty and over time we're gonna fix it up and expand on it and you know, make it a home. So let's go ahead and we're gonna go watch some TV apparently. You can see inside too, everything's used and dirty and it's not great. It's not great. <laughs> I'm using a lot of the, was it cheap and chipped um, CC pack. I'm gonna went ahead and put her TV up there. So she's got a little bit of a fun. Let's see how we are doing it. She needed some fun. And we got our little laptop that we got from, you know, from school and whatnot. Okay, so we don't have a thermostat. I probably need to get one for that to work properly, but it's okay. Let's see what happens when I turn it on. Cooling breeze, very nice, very nice. And we got a little fuse box. And uh, over here, yeah, we have Granny's cookbook. So let's, but before we go there, let's go ahead and just bake some cookies. Um, yeah, let's make some sugar cookies. Just, um, you know, we need a little pick-me-up. We need a little, little something sweet. We'll see if the, uh, welcome wagon comes because I have been working on this save file a little bit. It might have got canceled out with all my, um, multiple renovations going on. <laughs> But yeah, so you can see the floor here, the wall here is kind of missing some tiles. Everything's chipped. The floor in the bathroom's chipped. The floor out here. We got um, cracks in the walls, peeled paper, uh, you know, mold stains. There's a lot going on in this house that we'll need to fix up. And obviously we want to update our cooking area so we can make something nice. So go ahead and grab a serving, and then I'll put the rest in the fridge. Let's just start, uh, well let's cook us something that we can keep kind of in the fridge. We can do some, some bread. 
We can, even though that's technically cooking, but that's fine. We can, I think we can still sell it on our table. We will actually have to run around and maybe we'll go fishing or something, trying to make some money, uh, so we can buy our table because I think that's like 500 simoleons or something. So let's make us something that we can eat. And right now our cooking skill is nothing. I mean, we're just now getting there, but it should go up pretty fast because, again, we're tiny living in here <laughs> for a while. Um, but we can look at some of Granny's recipes for desserts. We can make strawberry delight. We can make a jam and cream sponge cake with our skill. They are kind of expensive. And then for meals, we can make chicken adobo, which looks great. I don't think I have too much specialty recipes available to me yet but I did download one that's like a roast for um for a grand meal because I know we need some different kinds of grand meals we're gonna be cooking a lot of them <laughs> so yeah so my goal is like we're gonna start here but we're gonna build our own maybe our own double wide you know like Johnny has and yeah so let's grab our bike uh, set as preferred bike and we're gonna put it in our inventory so we don't lose it and then we want to travel and we'll go to the park and go fishing you know we heard we heard there's a good spot um, in the back so let's go ahead and go to the park. So I've got this is the park. Kind of got a big basketball court. We got the pool. We got the splash pad for the kiddos. More kid playing and park uh, sit uh, seating and food. So there we go. Okay, so we want to go fishing is it back here I think it's back here and while we're fishing maybe some things will spawn in that we can um, grab to either plant or dig who is that running around oh is that Mortimer running around his little dainty <laughs> <laughs> a swimsuit <laughs> I love it where do we go and yeah all these are set up for picnicking and just having a nice time with the kids this is really a cute park and I just tried to add a little bit of stuff there all the way to the back I hope it's this one We'll see. We should be good on our needs. So, yeah, we're going to go fishing now. I'm trying to see. I don't think I can see anything to dig up yet. Oh, I do see something to dig up over there. Okay. After we go fishing. This will be a wild blackberry bush. Nice. Brand new world. Things just spawning in. Having a good time fishing. See if we can get anything. I'm gonna go ahead and speed us up a little bit. These early levels of fishing. We got a cow plant berry already. Wow. That is fun. Caught a new fish minnow. I don't know who that is, but it looks like they're making some food, which might be good for us. Are you making food or are you just running away? You're just sitting up there. Oh, oh, we're angry. Why are we angry? What? Having a really bad time. You don't like fishing. Wait, wait, you don't like fishing? I hate fishing. Um... Okay, wait a second. I need you to Okay, hold on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I'm not going to have you hate fishing. 
Not in this playthrough. Activity. Finishing? No. You don't have to love it, but you can't hate it. Okay, and you hate gardening? That's not- no, I did not say that. I did say mixology and programming. My mod might have autom automatically set that to hate it, but no. We can hate like DJ mixing and you can hate like media production. Okay, but you're not hating the other things. All right. I need you to fish. <laughs> now you can chill. Okay, do you want to like dig up something while this goes away? How about this? Do you want to dig for me? Dig a couple things. She's just hanging out. You want? We can say hi. Who is this? Bernice. Oh, this is Bernice Robles. Yeah. Let's do a friendly introduction after we dig. If she's still gonna hang out here. Maybe she'll hang out with us. Are there any more things to dig down here? I don't think so. There you go. There you go. Have a good time. Oh, nope, she's leaving. Okay, bye, Bernice. Never mind. Alright, we cut a little bit here. Oh, and we can um, extract the fossil. Anything worth 70? That's good. I'm gonna sell these. And we can sell our minnows. That's fine. I guess, wait, I can, I can use them as um, bait. Hold on. 40 and 15. Okay, not as good as the first one, but that's okay. We're halfway to our, our goal. Yeah, can you relax? Here, go ahead and can you go back now? Can you go back now? And not hate it this time? I promise. Uh. Oh man, our fun really went down, didn't it? Let's see what happens. Looks like it's going up a little bit now. This is supposed to be relaxing. Gabby, Gabby, this is supposed to be re relaxing. Ooh. I like the sun rays coming down on us. I mean, it's already 5 p.m. Our where did our first day go? It's like late afternoon already. Yep, another minnow. Well, I guess I don't have a high enough skill yet to use these for bait, so we'll just sell them. We could sell the cow pet berry for the money right now. I think we'll be able to find another one later if we really need to, so I think I'm just gonna sell it. Cause I really wanna get, we're almost to the 500 mark. Right, it's already seven o'clock. We might have to, yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and call it a day. Let's have a little fun. Maybe we can meet some people at the pool. No, she does not dislike fishing. Here, do you wanna like swim here and say, meet some people and say hi? There's a bunch of people here right now. Marcel Price, Eleanor Sullivan. Do I know you? Who are you? Some of the kids hanging out. Come on. Maybe you'll have some fun. Oh, our fun's going up from riding our bike. That's great. That went up fast. Holy smokes. We love bike riding. Does it give us like fitness? It does. That's why we like it. Okay. So let's go to the pool. Let's jump in. Who's this? Lucha Har Harjo? Harho? No. Harjo. Well, let's say hi. Let's meet some people. We don't have any friends right now. Are they a teen? No, they're an adult. That's fine. And then we can say hi to Morty. Having, I think, friendships and working on our charisma, well, I think will help us sell things better. So do I have any friendly, um, 
Congratulate new job. That's awesome. And I, I haven't done my introduction yet. Friendly introduction. Also, uh, Marcel was a friendly introduction as well. Mila Munch. I love it. I don't know if there's a bunch of lighting. We're going to find out how the lighting is here. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, so we're having fun. We're getting fitness. I don't know if we're getting any charisma. We're not, but that's all right. We are getting hungry, but we got cookies and bread back home. Let's go ahead and go home. Say, it was nice meeting you guys. I gotta go. We're gonna do this again tomorrow. And I think if we do another round of fishing and digging here tomorrow, uh, actually, yeah, a lot of stuff has spawned. So I think if we do come back tomorrow, we should be able to pick up a good amount of stuff to get us started. And then hopefully we can have our first bake sale soon. So we met Lucha and Marcel. We're riding in our bathing suit back home, but I guess, you know, it's Oasis Springs. That's what they do here. <laughs> That's how they do it here. It's not uncommon. As a Floridian, honestly, I relate to this. <laughs> like people just be doing whatever. All right, so put this in, um, Okay, well, I guess I gotta wait till she gets off of it. <sighs> there we go. Home sweet home. Like I said, I'm trying to really have a have a vibe for this place. All right. So and maybe once we after we have our first big sale, we can like really start cleaning up this place. Yeah, exactly. Get some food. Maybe let's um, change into some PJs, get comfy. Actually, you know what, we'll take a shower. That's what I do. I come home after, go ahead and eat. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt your food. I come home, we're gonna do that. We're gonna take, um, let's just take a brisk shower and then we'll use this. Actually, yeah. After I swim all day, I definitely need a shower. And then I'll have you throw that away. I don't know why it says to say clean up, it just says throw away, but it's fine, whatever. Maybe we just use paper plates because <laughs> that's, that's what we got. All right, oh, I don't think I've put my lights as, um, let's do auto lights, all lights. There we go. throw that away when you wake up or not does it not want to throw it away is it like blocked I might have an issue with that so this this house is pretty tiny okay so we are hungry again can we bake anything for breakfast I mean I should also get a cooking skill up too but yeah let's go ahead and cook something I guess we're just gonna do eggs and toast. I wish I had more like breakfast, just a single serving um, options. We'll have our breakfast and then we will change into our outfit for the day. Wear our next outfit. Nice. So we'll eat and then I want to try to bake something out of grandma's cookbook. Like, you know, we're like, hey, I don't know. I don't have any family here. This is like the way Gabrielle can feel like closer to her family and like the spirit of why she came, you know? So let's also, well, let me let her eat first. Have your breakfast. I don't think college is for us. We're not gonna go to university, I don't think. Um, but we're here to make our own way. 
Maybe we'll go on some dates. I haven't met someone. Well, I guess this supposed to be a blind date, isn't it? Let's see. What do we have? Maybe for this evening we'll go on a blind date. Yeah, meet and mingle dating. Fully blind date. That's awesome. Yeah, we'll go on a blind date then. Maybe, t maybe this evening. We'll see what we can do. Let's go ahead and throw that away. Awesome. Let's just cook something from Granny's recipes. Yeah, let's do a dessert. Oh look, we can make so much more. Let's make... I still kind of like the idea of the cake. Let's make a cake. You know, it's like happy, like first real day on our own. We'll go back. We'll see if we can um, dig up some more for a little bit more money. And then, yeah, tonight we'll go on a date. See, though for the day I might just have them go to like the laundromat or something like I know it's like a blind date but I like in my in my mind is like she's gonna go do her laundry and then she like meets somebody there that's my mind for the story <laughs> there we go oh it looks so cute so pretty okay um we're just gonna put this in the fridge for now we'll have some later and we'll take out the trash and then we'll go. We'll go back to the park and see what we can dig up and what other friends we can meet. Oh my god. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is going on over here? What was going on? That was crazy. Okay. Let's travel. We're not gonna bring anybody with us. Not today, we're gonna dig. Actually, I haven't looked to see if our lot has anything over here. Wild sage. I don't see too much on our lot for digging. So let's go back to the park. Okay, so let's see what we got. We got more fishing over here. How's this? I don't think I can do anything yet for that. It hasn't grown in. Ooh, what is this? Lemon tree. Yeah, we can... Let's go dig over here. <laughs> wow, that cactus. <laughs> what is this, Sims? It's not, it's not even 3D. Alright, we're coming over. Riding over. At least that's great that we can ride our bike around and it gives us fun. So we're going to dig over there. Is there anything back here? There's the bathroom. Hope there is a little hidden treasure. Let's dig that. It's sparkling, but there's nothing there. No lemons to get yet. No lemons to get yet. There's a lot of lemon trees. I didn't realize they were, they were here. What's back here? Another little secret fishing place. Is this the one? Yeah, that's the one I was at yesterday. Okay. I saw something to dig up here, I thought. Or did I just dig everything up here? I might have got everything up here already. And is there anything over here? Let's see. Yes, we'll dig this one. Oh, cool. We got an amethyst. Well, let's sell that. Okay. We just get. Oh, you got this. Is it better to just sell them? I cannot sell it. What? Oh, my bike's there. I cannot sell this like that. So let's go ahead and open it. After we dig up the other one. Oh, we could have got for, checked for frogs. We're going to look for frogs too. 
I definitely think she would enjoy having frogs. <laughs> we don't have a place for them right now, but maybe later. I'm like looking around, seeing what else we can dig up. Not too much. Let's see. What do we get from this? That was fast. Okay, so let's see. We're gonna go look for frogs and I'm gonna look for more stuff for you to dig. Okay, cool. We got a couple. Dig this up. Oop. Dig this up. Okay, I did that one. Dig that one up. There's a few here. That's good. All right. Nothing has really grown in. Okay, I think that's everything we can get from here, which is fine. I think we'll have enough money. All right, so we're gonna sell him. We're gonna extract the fossil. 50, 85, okay, yeah, we're, we're doing great. We're doing good. Oh, we're in, we're in. Got a spotted dirt frog. That's not one of the frogs I probably wanna breed, so we'll just sell that one. Flirty? Ready for some action? Okay, well, you know what? We'll go on a date after this. We'll, we'll, we'll go on our blind date after this. We just got a couple more things to dig, and then, you know. What else we got here? We might make a thousand simoleons just today digging this stuff up. That is fantastic. And we didn't even have to fish. Limestone, let's extract the fossil. Broken fossil, oh, we did a bad job. And 70, that's not bad, that's not bad. A fire opal, those are pretty good. I might work on the collections later on. Like we have like 35 generations, so <laughs> we'll work on that later. I ironium, ar ironium. That's 80 simoleons, I'll take it. Another $5 on that. Oh, we are six simoleons away. So whatever we get, we'll hit. Oh, we got, well, you know what? I might keep the upgrade parts because we can use those. All right, well, that's fine. We are so, so close. No, 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 we're not. I don't know where you're going. I don't know what you're doing, but we are gonna go on a blind date. Fully blind date. I don't know how this works. We are learning together. How does this work? I don't have the room. I'm sorry, Marcel. You cannot stay in my place. Plus, I, um, I'm expecting company. So, you know, I'm sorry. She's arranging a meetup with them now. <gasps> oh my goodness. Who are we going to get? I'm, I am like, Judith Ward. Oh no. Oh no. I don't know if I can take her to the laundromat. Let's go to the cantina. I'm not opposed to that. Okay, let's go. Let's go to the cantina. Oh my gosh. I mean, we could use a sugar mommy. Um, mm -hmm. so we don't, we can't afford science babies. So that is the only thing. Okay. Um, let's. Wait, is she leaving? Where, where are we going? We might be going around. I think we're going around the side entrance here instead of the front entrance right there that we were just at. But, um, let's make some small talk. Oh, we can only add, like, we have to attempt an introduction. I don't know how this is going to go. But, you know, if it goes poorly, we'll just ask for another blind date. Who's talking to me? 
Yeah, I think she just snubbed me. Where is she going? Is she leaving? Let's attempt an introduction. I don't know where she's going. Is she going to the back door? What's she doing? Apparently we keep trying to talk to her and it's not working, so she's not having it. She's not having it and everyone's running to the back. Alright, I just had to do something like I, I hate when like you have one CC hair and like every random townie has it. Can't stand it, so let me just help her out. I didn't want to like kill her vibe, but I just needed to help her a little bit just to fit in. You know what I mean? So, here we go. Who is she? Mayumi. I don't know, let's do a funny introduction, because I can't. Um, anyway, Judith has pretty much left our date, so... And that lady's angry. This is our neighbor, actually. So let me say hi to her. And she's like hanging out with the girls. She's with Celeste. Uh, yeah, this is Christy Lovelace, by the way. She's hanging out with Celeste Michelson. And Ava Harjo. Oh, we met, I think, her husband. So let's also say hello to her. I think that's her husband. I'm going to profile. Yeah. Yeah, this is Ava. This is his wife, so. All right, and this is Luna. Yeah, Villarreal. Who's this? Cameron Fletcher. Nice. I just met your wife. <laughs> Hi, I just met your wife. She's so nice. Uh, Rita, Kumbis, and I were planning to spend some casual friend time together. Should I do it? I mean, your wife is hanging out with her friends. Why not? If it's casual friend time, I don't get a problem with it. Uh, yeah, so, well, you know what? Let's just, you, let's tell Cameron our, our sorrows. What's our favorite drink? I want to know. And then we'll do, like, a friendly introduction. Hey, there's Bernice again. Yeah, we've met a lot of people. This is great! Look at this! Yeah, I love it. We got some good friends now. What's my favorite drink? I want to know. And then we'll go on another blind date after this. What is that? Fizzy fruity drink. I like it. I like it. Hi Celeste. Let's talk about share excitement. I mean, I did just meet Judith Ward. <laughs> I came here with Judith Ward and then she saw me and ditched me. <laughs> But I'll tell everybody this story because now it's a hilarious anecdote. Anecdote. You gonna drink your drink? There you go, girly. This is this Reno is so gorgeous. There she is. There she is. Um, I guess I can try one more time. Oh my god. Could declare, but like, I want to attempt an introduction with Judith. No, she's not like running away. Maybe we can turn this around. It would be hilarious if like I get my charisma. Nope, she said no. Yeah, I saw that little cringe. All right, well. Let's see if I can auto match again. See if there's somebody else we can actually talk to on a blind date. Dolly. Is that somebody that's here? Let's see. Oh, her husband showed up. Oh no, that's not him. He just looks like him. Yeah, because Judith is too good for us, apparently. And this girl keeps giving me the side eye. What? 
did I do? <gasps> oh my gosh, it's Christy! Christy! Um, yeah, let's go to the laundromat. Now we can go to the laundromat. She is our neighbor. Like, this is what I envisioned was like, we're gonna go just to the random place, like the laundromat, and we're gonna like meet our blind date. Oh my gosh. Hi, where are we going? What are you doing? All right, I am gonna declare that we're just like looking for a hookup. Um, we're not really into a relationship right now, but we are looking to have some fun. If you're down with that. Uh, not sure what. I'm not really interested in going home now. Okay, well, you know, we tried. <laughs> not sure where you're meeting up with your date exactly. Click their picture in this notification to view their location. Oh, well, they're here now, yeah. All right, well, they're not looking for a hookup. We did a couple. That's fine. We got time to go on a whole bunch more blind dates. Um, let's see. Oh, look at all this bakery. Uh, you work here, don't you? He's probably going to work right now. Order food. Wait, do we? are we even hungry? A little bit. What, do we, what can we order? Oh, we can order it to go, but we'll order for here. A scone, a croissant, pain au chocolat. Um, let's let's do let's do some pain au chocolat. That looks good. And oh wow, everyone's coming to the laundromat. Um, that would be great. I might just go there after this. Let me let me eat my my thingy my. Oh, another celebrity's here. Um, but this is a laundromat. This is a cute little laundromat. It's not, you know, huge. They got their little cafe out here and you can get some stuff from the vending machines. But of course, we're falling in love with baking. So we gotta try like these, these amazing baked goods. Even though from the laundromat, they're probably not amazing. But to us, we're like, we see the potential. We see where this could go. I'm like this is gonna be oh my goodness another one see this hair you're gonna see this hair a million times so we're gonna go in and after a super quick uh, makeover of a couple townies <laughs> who is this Don Gooseman all right thanks for our pan au chocolat Don it was fairly delicious I think we went and met someone new it didn't work out who's this Janae Price. All right, it's really some cute. There are some cute townies. Ellen Sadia. Some of these people I don't know. This is our friend Marcel. Oh, is this your wife? Is this Marcel's wife? I'm gonna go say hi then. Hello. <laughs> nice to meet you. We could attempt an introduction, but honestly, I don't. After the things the way we, after things went the way they did with Judith, I am not into meeting another celebrity at the moment. And the local laundromat is popping. Hi, Sylvia. Oh, it's this. We just got a bit of an inheritance. Like I said, I I know she's not gonna want to get married, and she wouldn't be like money, 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 give me now. Like that's not her personality. So, honestly, she would say like, "What what are you talking about? What's this about?" Like she would she would ask about, maybe not under what conditions specifically, but she would be like, "What are you talking about? Who is this?" <laughs> so, that's amazing to get that on the first like first day. Well, technically second, but you know what I mean. I think we're gonna go and set up, start baking and trying to get ready for this thing. We can buy our thing now. Our social's up. We're doing great. 
So yeah, maybe we'll um, go home after meeting Janae. Be like, I met your husband. He's really cool. It's nice to meet you too. Yeah. So everybody's hanging out at the local laundromat. I mean, honestly, at the trail, that this is the spot. Like, our our bedrock street trailer park doesn't really have anywhere else to hang out so the laundromat is the place and I did give us a feminine walk I kind of like to give everybody different walks just so when the sims are walking around it's not the same animation over and over and over again we get a renewed sense of purpose and we're like okay let me let me get my my sales table and actually, I want to move, I think I do want to move my, this over here, just to get it out of the way. I might move some of this grass over here, too. Just because I want my, um, my table over here, you know? And also, I probably need to get some lights for out here. So, okay, we got a little bit of money, so let's start. Also, like, cleaning up. How much is this? I wanna, I'm looking at how much these cost because I want to make sure um, I'm not getting any money from these. So, yeah, we're cleaning up the outside a little bit. We made a little bit of money. Okay, we, have, we don't have money quite to fix the AC, but we can just, like... Do a really good like wash of the outside of this. We haven't fixed the inside yet, but we can like just start filling some cracks, washing off, washing in, filling in some scratches. Maybe these holes we haven't filled in the holes yet, but we can at least like clean her up a little bit. There we go. Okay, she's not perfect yet, but nicer. All right, so now, um, I hope I'm just gonna do a quick save because I, I haven't been glitch free. I know a lot of people are having a lot of problems since this update. I don't have the new packs. So I'm hoping that's like a saving grace. I don't have all the glitches, but I was having some problems editing lots and then getting stuck in the screen like the the loading screen indefinitely so i'm just saving in case that happens um all right so i need activities and skills and then it's definitely like um packs let's go to the home chef hustle all there we are I like this one. All right. All right, so we have this. We definitely need some like lights for it because it gets kind of dark out here at night. So I'm gonna get some lighting. Oh, that's right, I don't need Home Chef Hustle lighting. Let's, let's do all the lighting, there we go. Um, yeah, so I want something Maybe not like that. I like the one that's just a regular yeah, light on a pole here. Yeah, it's just simply like, oops. Maybe it's like a little in front like that. And then I think that's right. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay, so we got our lighting that should help at night. Let's just put it at night so we can see. Oh yeah, that looks great. Um, yeah, so for now I think maybe I can center this just like a little bit better. Okay, that's connected, it is. All right, so that's great for us starting our sales. Now we just gotta work up some inventory. Oh wow, and I think the other thing thing I'd like to get maybe is a grill outside. I don't know. Do we need a grill? 
Or should I just save the money to expand our home? Because at, at least for first we can double the length of this. And, uh, and then we can double the width and we can have like a true double wide um, home. Okay, so what I learned is this, the way it's built with a roof and everything, it doesn't count truly as a room. Like I can't put a foundation on it, unfortunately. So what will happen is once we get enough, we'll actually sell this and then we can buy like a new double, a new like mobile home that's maybe a little bit bigger. And we'll have something more akin to the lots around us. But for now, this is what we got. So I think we'll be good. All right, let's go ahead. It's 7 p.m., but we can go ahead and like do some cooking and have our, you know, plan our first bake sale tomorrow. We made a lot of friends, which is great. Um, so let's go to Granny's Recipes Desserts. We've got some great desserts to choose from now. Cheesecake brownies, uh, a couple hollow or holiday ones, um, strawberry cheesecake, strawberry jam tarts, chocolate trifle. Let's do a strawberry delight. Let's just like start from the beginning and work our way down the book. Yeah, and I gotta clean up inside too. Unless we just do so well, I can just. <laughs> not worry about it but we'll see we'll see all right let's get cooking i love this granny's cookbook their recipes look so cute okay wow is that done and it's excellent okay put it in the fridge and let's make something else I know you want to watch TV. I'm sorry, sweetie. Um, let's do some strawberry jam tarts. I want to have like four or five things for sale tomorrow. Actually, I have a bad habit of doing everything for the Sims, so I need to tell her to put it away, not, not me doing it. So we're doing good. We're inspired. We're having a great time. Cooling breeze from the AC is keeping us comfy. The animations, look at this. Oh, hello, Celeste. You're an outcast. Your dastardly deeds have alienated you from polite society. But we don't care about all that. We value results. You're a criminal at heart. I can see that in you. So I'll extend you an offer. Are you interested in joining the criminal career? At rank five! That would be so good. That would be so good. Like Baker, cute little Baker by day, criminal crime lord by night. But no, I'm sorry. Wow. Celeste, you are not who I thought you were. <laughs> I'm sorry, but no, I know. I don't want to work for anybody. I want to work for myself. That's crazy. Do I have like terrible reputation or something? Just ever so slightly. I don't know. That's kind of crazy. Oh, what was that? <laughs> so what do we have already? We have... We have our delight, our cookies, our sponge cake, a loaf of bread. And we have our tart. Oh, hold on. Can you... Um, Put away, please. And then we can bake something from the... No, I don't want to bake those. <laughs> I might have to, though. Let's do some premix uh, brownies because I need to get this skill up. And I don't know if baking from from the cookbook counts. I think it counts as cooking, so... See if I can get some better light going on in here. Baking level two, yeah. So we'll do the brownies and then we'll go to bed. And then in the morning when we get up, we'll try our, our stand. We got quite a bump from that inheritance, which makes sense. Like, so they said, hey, you know, it's not just the land, but, um, 
you know, maybe it's like your grandmother had this addition that if anybody who went and lived on the land, um, you know, she would give them a little bit extra money to get started, right? Let's go ahead and clean this too. Her estate had an, um, <clears throat> what is it, like a little asterisk or a, an extra special rule. I know there's a word I can't think of. But we got we got a little extra money for living here, so that was a nice little surprise. Like, thanks, Granny. We could have been a criminal mastermind, but we decided to live an honest life. All right, so let's go ahead and put that away as well. We're tired. It's ten o'clock. It's time to go to bed. So let's go to sleep. That's awesome. And then in the morning, we'll put all these in the inventory of the thing. Honestly, I can also get some of the, what you call it? What are they called? Like the pizza maker or the waffle maker? I wouldn't mind the waffle maker. I feel like I want her to, Strahd, Strahd, go, go away. Um, I, I wouldn't mind doing waffles, but I kind of like doing like desserts. I kind of like really doing desserts. Ooh, what's this? Sage. What's over here? Nothing's over here, right? Well, I should, while we're sleeping, I want to look. <laughs> there, oh, there's fishing and there's frogs. Maybe we can also, oh, we can check that out tomorrow. Okay. And... Is this grown? <gasps> and we can harvest some daisies. Okay, we'll do that in the morning before we do our thing. Oh, and we are hungry and, okay. I'm sorry, go ahead, go ahead. I didn't see that our bladder was that bad. And then our energy is really full, isn't it? It's full, so that's great. So go ahead and do that. Has this grown? I can. I can harvest the sage, too. It's not fruit or anything, but it's something. And then over here. can harvest the daisies. We can harvest these daisies. We can look for frogs. And we can dig. We'll do all that after breakfast. While the sun's still rising. And then we'll do a little sale and see what, how much of our stuff we can sell. And then if it goes with the money we get today, we'll invest in a new item. The only problem I ha have is if it rains, if it rains on us, we, we will lose our items. So we might have to put the bitter back in our inventory like every day, which honestly isn't the worst thing. If I can do that, if it'll let me put it in the inventory. silver only 20 and five dollars for that okay so let's go home let's go let's go back home and I'm gonna go ahead and start putting stuff in our yeah it like takes me back down like like this is a basement room or something that's been pushed up from I don't know there's something interesting going on with the way they built this uh, let's go ahead and get our stuff. Let's um, open, and then we're gonna open this. Okay, so I just, I guess I'm just gonna drag them over. Let's drag these over. Cookies, this, and why not the bread? Okay, so we're here. You're cleaning up. That is wonderful that you're cleaning up. You didn't clean it up. You just uh, put it there. Yeah, there's, I think, I think the sink doesn't work. So I might have to move some stuff around. Although for story purposes, the sink not working <laughs> kind of, kind of fits. All right. So let's go ahead and change business details. This is Gabby's bake stand. And we're gonna start a food sale. 
can attend the table. Are you coming? Are you stuck? Do I need to reset you? Oh, I have it on pause. I'm the problem, it's me. Um, and then we're gonna do, yeah, you're attending the table now? There you go. Market prices, we're gonna mark them up 100% and at, at the beginning. See if they'll sell. It'll take a second, but I did do some testing before, so hopefully they show up. There we go. Not too bad. Not too bad. You know. Oh, and we're hungry though. So, whoops. This is Marcus Langrab. This, or not Marcus, Jeffrey Langrab. <laughs> Marcus Langrab. Uh, Jeffrey. So I've given him a bit of a little makeover. And Christy's back. She's our neighbor. She came running straight here. So let's give her the sales pitch. Uh, give sales pitch. Let's give. Oh, I didn't mean to go into MCC. Let's give him the sales pitch. Although I find that with any of these market stalls, the less I talk, the better they sell. Oh, that we sold it. He bought it right away. Nice. Oh, yeah. 100% working, no problem. So, we'll do this today, and tomorrow we'll mark them up even more and see how they go. Yeah, they're, they're buying no problem. Um, and this is one of the Reyes families. Oh, okay, and Zoe Patel with her makeover. So, uh, let's give him a sales pitch. Actually, I'm not giving anybody a sales pitch, so we're just tending the table. It's working just fine. This is, this is Dax Collins. This is our neighbor on the other side. He lives over there. So I love it. And then this is uh, Nina Caliente. So yeah, and there's your sister. There's Dina. So these are these are all the Oasis Springs uh, makeovers and original original characters I've added in. And then um, our boy Mitchell. Here we go. These are like mostly excellent quality. They're very good. They're better than over there at the uh, laundromat, I promise. Zoe came out so pretty. I want, I want to start like chatting her up, but then it'll inhibit my sales. So we'll have to just hopefully, um, hope I get to talk to her another time. I was kind of hoping we'd get some more people from like around because I see them walking by but they're not coming to buy it only the Oasis Springs people which is fine which is fine those are my regulars I guess if we went to like Hanford Arm Bag they like took our stand down there we could meet some new people and maybe we can do that we can try like every week to take our stand somewhere else because we can put it in our inventory so maybe we can, we can go to the fair or something, the Finchwick fair or, or something. When we know like a festival is in town, we can try to sell it. I didn't think about that before, but maybe that can be something we do is so we go to the festivals and we try to sell our stuff. So actually, let's see what's in the calendar. Cause I also wanted to make some holidays, but I didn't do that. All right. So events. So tomorrow is meet a celebrity. This is the football sports day competition. We could go down there and then love day. Then it's just the festival of snow we could do and Finchwick fair. I think I'd rather go to Finchwick fair than the festival of snow, but at least we have options. So yeah, we have some stuff coming up the next few days. Maybe tomorrow we can go on another set of dates. Um, what else do we need? Excellent pizzas or waffles. So I'll have to get, yeah. With the money we make today, we'll get the waffle maker. It doesn't say I have to keep them on the table over here, so. 
I'll just make them and put them in. So yeah, so we have... Tomorrow we can go ahead and go on some dates. And then we can go on some... We have like two dates. So love day... We have football and cheerleading events. We could do Thursday, Friday. Saturday, for sure, we have stuff. So we'll see. We'll see. Actually, I'd like to go ahead and try. That's right. Buy my stuff. Oh, and someone left me a little baggie. I love when they do that. They buy it and they just set it down over there. And they're like, here you go. This is our first day, so we're gonna have our discounted prices for the first day. And then I'll slowly mark them up as our skill goes up. Okay, so our sale ended. Alright, that's fine because we also are hungry. So let's go ahead and let's cook ourselves something. What do we want to eat? Let's just, let's have a corn dog. I believe if I leave these in the table they'll last quite a long time. Like so now if I open the table yeah, 15 days, 15 days, 15 days, 14 days, 15 days. And the bread will last indefinitely. So. Okay, so what can I do to fix this? Isn't this cabinet that's messing it up? I really wanted to have this here. Maybe I can take the hood away. And... I don't know if that affects the, the thing. Can I clean up now? I can't. So it was this. So what happens if I go to bake some oatmeal cookies? I want to find out now if this is blocking me from cooking. So far, so good. We're doing good. Our charisma is going up. Our baking is going to be level three soon. Our cooking is level four. Entrepreneur is level one. Got a little bit of gardening from picking those daisies. Yeah. Not too bad. Not too bad. Some more cooking. Baking level three, that's wonderful. Well, we've been recording for a while. We've got, I think, a nice system going on. I think in the meantime, I'm gonna try to add some more, uh, let me see, put this away. Uh, add some more holidays as my goal while, you know, in between uh, recording. Uh, thanks for checking out the new playthrough. I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am. Uh, hopefully we'll uh, make some progress in here. Let me know how you guys feel about Gabrielle, things you'd like to see, people you'd like to see, uh, if you see any townies that uh, look interesting to you or makeovers for townies you'd like to see. And any of that good stuff, like, subscribe, and yeah, hit me up in the comments if you got anything you want to chat about Sims related. I'm always there for that. I'll see you guys next weekend. Bye.